I have a bit of an obsession with the 395R and 396R Swivomatic bass drum pedals. This pedal was released in 1959 and first appears in the 60R catalog. We could literally talk all day about the details of these pedals and how they changed over the years and all the interchangeable parts, but what I want to focus on is just a few aspects of the first generation Swivomatic pedal. This first generation pedal will always have the round knurled knob tension screw for the hoop clamp. This very unique T-rod and swivel unit that we'll talk about in detail in a minute and a wing nut holding together the spring assembly on the swing arm. These pedals are equipped with Torrington B68 roller bearings that consist of 22 full complement rollers in each casing. This makes for extremely smooth action, as opposed to the later pedals that simply use a bushing in place of the bearings. In the earliest version of this pedal, under the swivel unit, you'll see these three dimples in the sand cast base. As the cast age, the dimples slowly disappear, and then eventually, on the latest versions of the cast base, they are completely gone. The earliest versions of this first generation pedal will have this somewhat unique set screw holding on the spurs with a recess in the head, where even in the slightly later versions, you see this more common set screw. But what sets this first generation pedal apart the most is this T-rod and swivel unit. Inside the stem of this swivel unit is this spring-loaded pin and cap. The pin fits inside the stem and is held in place by the cap. The T-rod has this notch, and when inserted into the swivel unit, the cap then pushes the spring-loaded pin into the notch for a secure fit. Classic over-engineering and extremely expensive to manufacture, I'm sure, but a brilliant design. Later pedals brought first this much less durable and I'm sure less expensive design. Then eventually this design with the same type rod, but a die cast swivel unit. I hope you've enjoyed a quick look at some of the aspects of the first generation 395R and 396R Swivomatic bass drum pedals. Get your hands on one of these if you can and feel how truly superior they are. Thanks for watching. In the spirit of pedals, I wanted to mention my friend Vincent Ward over at Vitalizer, who does amazing things with vintage pedals, namely the Speed King. Check out Vincent and Michael Windish over at Junk Rock for all your vintage drum and hardware needs.